Hey guys, at the moment I'm recording this video, we're only a few hours away from the launch of Cyberpunk 2077, so I thought I'd give you guys a heads up about a few things relating to the game and the channel. I'll be benchmarking the game tomorrow on my 8700K and RTX 3070 on the following resolutions, which you can see on screen right now, so get subscribed for that, because I will also be telling you how much the day one patch improved performance versus the numbers we've seen from Tom's hardware and the official Nvidia leak. More information on those things can of course be found in the two previous videos that I've already posted on my channel. Speaking of Nvidia, the official game ready drivers are now out, so make sure you download and install them for optimal performance. These are going to be the driver called 460.97 WHQL. For those of you who'd like to see more Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay, the game can already be watched on Twitch and YouTube from popular streamers, and I've already watched three streams at the same time to get an idea of what I could benchmark and to understand the game, and I would like to tell you that it's looking far better right now. PS4 gameplay also looked to be running smoothly, and look quite decently I would say, so I'd expect people with older hardware to get a good experience out of it as well. Speaking of optimization, please wait for the Hardware Unboxed video discussing the best settings. Their guides have been amazing for Red Dead Redemption 2, Watch Dogs, AC Valhalla and many more titles and I would personally love to do one of myself but I fear that I won't necessarily have the time. Now, if you're an Xbox user, people have found ways to play Cyberpunk 2077 early or on the console, and I believe the same applies to PlayStation users. The way you can do it is, is to change your time and zone to New Zealand, and that should do the trick. You'll also find more information in the link in the video description to see if this still works, otherwise we're not far away from being able to play this game. Next up, Cyberpunk 2077 modding might become available thanks to Wolvenkit since they're working on a community open source project. Wolvenkit is the same team who has worked on a mod creation tool for The Witcher 3, so please keep an eye out for that as well. And last but not least, yes, you can configure the size of your penis in the game and the entire character customizability options are completely insane. I've been completely mind boggled by looking at how much time people have spent trying to customize their characters whilst during whilst doing the whole live stream thing and yes I might also be doing a video on that if you guys would like to see that so please leave a comment in the comment section if you'd like to see that and also drop a comment telling me what you would like to see in terms of cyberpunk 2077 content and coverage because I don't know how much time I'll have for it but I will do my best to put out relevant content for you guys and that's pretty much been it for the video thanks a ton for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye